addressing the country in regards to what has happened. The most feared news was confirmed last night uh, with a 36 in Uganda that a male Ugandan that was confirmed to have the COVID-19. Apparently, there is a Ugandan young man, 36 years old, who had left for Dubai on the 17th of March. A mama Kambu, I'm a single mother, I'm a refugee in Kampala. I'm from Congo, I have three girls and three boys. I live in Bukesa. I sell jewelry and I'm a hawker. We were in church on the 20th March 2020 when the priest announced that we are no longer going together for services because of the coronavirus. We were just at home. We were told to stay at home till when they told us to finally move out. During the lockdown, I could not find work. Life became too hard. Me and my daughters had to go at different people's places and wash their clothes to get food. Later, the government provided food for the citizens. We got our part, but it was not enough to feed us for the entire lockdown time. Life kept on becoming harder and harder. Okay. My elder boy is a barber. He got arrested when he was rushing to come back home because of the curfew. I slept without seeing him. In the morning, I called the Nuru team because they helped so much the youth. I told them that my elder boy never came back that night. Maybe he was arrested because of the curfew. They heard me and they did what they had to do. They looked for him and I could finally see my son. I appreciate so much the assistance they did so that I could see my son again. We still need assistance and especially for us, the single mothers, you find yourself being the father and mother of your family. You have no capital and don't have any assistance. I fear my children may go astray.